Deadlines are real when you're staring one in the face. There's a big one Monday in Trumbull County for an important judge's race. It's been confusing and may not be entirely cleared up. Today, I was looking into the situation. When Judge Contos retired July 31st, the clock started ticking. Governor DeWine would pick a replacement, and the November election would pick a person to finish the term. Trumbull County Republicans had a plan. Originally, I wanted to pick that name that the governor chose to put on the ballot uh, in November. The party sent three recommendations last night to the governor. David Engler, Margo Miola, and Sarah Cavour, all attorneys. But it doesn't expect the governor to make his decision before Monday's filing deadline for the ballot. But we didn't know the time frame that the governor was going to pick uh, the candidate. Trumbull County Republicans will hold an emergency meeting Sunday of the Central Committee. Their plan is to pick a candidate, even if it doesn't match who the governor eventually picks. Well, it would be uncomfortable. Uh, but like I say, the governor has his time frame. The Board of Elections has theirs with their, their forms. The name which Republicans want on the ballot will be turned into the Board of Elections on Monday. Then they'll take a deep breath and get to work. We just have to you know, get out the word and you know, support our candidate. And hopefully that the, uh, the voters in Trumbull County will vote for, excuse me, vote for Republicans. All right, Michael Ballas has just been the Trumbull County Republican chairman for only a week. Trumbull County Democrats plan to submit a candidate. In fact, they did that today. Cynthia Rice is their candidate whose name will appear on the ballot in November.